Hi, I'm Lori from Lori's Country Cottage, and I'm proud to present Edmontonian Brett Lewis. Brett's always been passionate about color and design, and his interest in quilting has insp was inspired by a baby quilt he was gifted in 2016. Spring forward three years, and we welcome Brett to present his premier fabric line with Northcott Fabrics. Stag and Thistle is a fusion of bright, beautiful images of flowers, magpies, and stags. Stay tuned as we are captured by Brett's enthusiasm. Hey everyone, Brett Lewis, Natural Born Quilter here, and I'm coming to you today virtually from my living room for a little Stag and Thistle Project Virtual Trunk Show, and I'm really excited to showcase all these projects that I have made because now that Stag and Thistle is in a store near you, specifically Lori's Country Cottage, you can make these great amazing projects. Now I really wish that I had been able to do this in person. We had a trunk show plan and a potential teaching um, class coming up. But due to this pandemic, this is kind of the new norm for now. So bear with us until some stuff changes and hopefully we'll be able to do this all in person and can meet everyone of you then. But for now, um, just a little background. Stag and Thistle is my debut fabric collection for Northcott Fabrics. There's 14 SKUs, they're all vibrant colors featuring plants and animals. I grew up in beautiful British Columbia and that was a big inspiration for me designing this collection. So I might as well get to show you the projects because that's what you guys probably want to see. So first up is a quilt that I designed. I thought I'd make a nice beginner friendly quilt. It's an on point pieced quilt and it is called Grove Gathering. It's a nice throw size, comes together really quick. I've actually made this pattern twice, it's kind of a nice weekend project. Um, doesn't feature all the skews, but features one of the Northcott coordinating solids. There are seven coordinating color work solids that go with my collection. However, tons of their solids work. I've used them in other projects um, besides just using those seven. So that is Grove Gathering, and you can get that pattern at Lori's. This quilt was quilted by my friend Christine Adamancha, quilting by Christine. The next up is Woodland Windows. It is another nice throw size quilt. I just designed three throw size quilts and it features all 14 main skews from my collection and is great for fussy cutting. I really want to be able to feature um, my prints in there where I could fussy cut the stag head and the magpies right in there. And the way I pieced this in designing the pattern, you actually have lots of fabric to do the fussy cutting and then you're actually left over with a lot of half square triangles. So with all those leftover half square triangles, you can actually piece them all together, like keep them in a pile as you are trimming the blocks, sew them all together and then you can make a nice little baby quilt. I don't have that one with me right now, my friend has it. Um, but it comes together really fast and you get a secondary project with your scraps and who doesn't need a baby quilt um, to gift. So that is Woodland Windows and this quilt was quilted by my good friend Carmen Martins. Now all my quilts, I do use double batting just if you're curious. I do hubs 80-20 and then a layer of wool on top and I find it just makes the quilting pop. And I also just really think it adds some extra warmth, which is really nice. Now, my main favorite pattern that I uh, designed is called Meadow Valley. Now, Meadow Valley is actually the area in Summerland, BC that I grew up in until the age of four. So a lot of my inspiration came from growing up there. It is another throw sized quilt, 68 inch square. And it features all my favorite things about quilting and piecing. Fussy cutting, curves, foundation paper piecing, and my favorite block, which is the New York Beauty, as you can see. It has all of the Northcott coordinating solids, the seven, and also all the SKUs from my collection. So this is more of an intermediate project. Now, I had hoped to be teaching this project at Quilt Canada, and unfortunately with everything that's going on, that was canceled. Um, so I hope to teach this soon in the future when that is able to happen. 
hopefully locally. Now, as you can see, um, it is custom quilted and it was quilted by my friend Christine. Make sure you check out Christine at Amantra Quilting by Christine. She's awesome. She has an amazing long arm quilting service. And you can probably showcase the quilting a little bit better on the back. Look at all the work that went into that. And I absolutely love um, how it turned out. My son has claimed this quilt for his. So once I'm done kind of showcasing them and stuff, he gets it. And I did purposefully design a stripe print for my collection, which is that birch tree print, um, because I really like striped binding. So it's, you can see it on a couple of my quilts that I use it. And I love how it turned out. So next up, this is, so those are my three original patterns. Those were all designed in electric quilt, just in case you're curious. Um, it was a lot of fun to dabble on that. Now, one of my favorite fabric, pardon me, pattern designers is Chris Jurd, and she's out of Australia. So this is her Emperor's Wheel quilt pattern. Now, I have actually made this pattern three times, I believe, so, um, because I really wanted to make it in my own fabric. So, here it is. I literally just got this back from Christine. She panto quilted it. It's a nice little throw size quilt for the couch. I just love how it turned out. It features lots of New York beauties, curves, some flying geese there, and that, um, that awesome centerpiece. I did do some cool stuff here. Um, I love fussy cutting, which I talked about, but this is kind of like what I call splice fussy cutting. So I actually took two colorways, and that was something when I designed it, that I really need to have two colorways of my fabrics because I wanted to be able to do this because I love doing it, where you just combine the two colorways um, and cutting them strategically to create that whole image again, if you can see that there, hopefully you can. And it does feature, um, I have the coordinating color work solids, including an additional one, this a navy uh, color that they had to pull through there. Again, that striped binding from the birch tree print that I really, really love. And then I actually just kind of pieced the back with some color work solids. And then this is actually one of my favorite prints, this in fuchsia, um, the songstress which I absolutely love. I'm actually gonna make curtains for my bedroom in that, I believe. So uh, that's the Emperor's Wheel. That's another class that I was going to be teaching at Quilt Canada that unfortunately got canceled. Now, diversifying from quilts, um, everyone kind of seems to be making lots of things other than quilts when their quilter is diversifying out, like I said, um, including bags. So I am not a bag maker. But my friend Tara Sinclair of Uh Oh Creations is a bag maker and pattern designer. So I was really fortunate enough to contact her and she agreed to um, make three bags for me for Quilt Market in Houston last year. So these are her own three original patterns and Tara is actually Canadian, which is super cool. She's out of, um, down by, I believe, Airdrie, Calgary. And this is her John Duffel bag. It comes in multiple sizes in the pattern. And I absolutely love how it turned out. It's a nice weekend bag. Um, Tara's craftsmanship is amazing. I've been told that her pattern design is also terrific. Right now I have some batting stuffed in here just to, you know, pop it up for you guys. Um, but it's a great weekend getaway bag. So that's the John Duffel bag. She also made this adorable Billy backpack. Um, and it's really neat, actually, this bag itself with my fabric, Second Thistle, is on the cover of her pattern, which is awesome. And it's like a little over-the-shoulder sling bag. However, you can unzip and you get the straps on there. So it's a nice little, um, you know, zipping out of the house kind of bag, or perhaps for a younger kid. The third pattern that she did, um, it's called the Logan bag, Logan sling. And I use this, I've actually been using this lot to have to unpack everything that was in it. Maybe I should have left it in. And it's kind of just a nice going out if I'm going on a hike, throw a water bottle, throw my cell phone in there and car keys. A um, few pockets in there. One feature on here that I really like that kind of reminds me a bit of like a Western saddle bag is this expandable piece on the bottom. When I'm out hiking with my son, he often collects stuff so the bag is fuller when we come back. So, you know, put that over your shoulder, you're out and about. That's the Logan sling bag. Now, I like a quick, easy project sometimes. Quilts take a long time to piece, potentially, and sometimes I'm just in the mood to do something really quick over the weekend. So I've really been doing a lot of pillows lately. Um, 
Now, while I showcase these, you know, I say a quick weekend project. However, this is an English paper piece pillow, and this is from my friend Courtney Reed, and she is um, a pattern designer for English paper piecing, and she's out of the States. And this is called her Unnamed EPP. So it actually can be made into an entire quilt. I just did one of the blocks and did it for um, this pillow. So, and it's featuring just a few of my prints, fussy cut, and then with the navy solid color works in the back. Um, so that's the Unnamed EPP. I also have this project. Again, it can be made into a quilt. I made a pillow because it was a quick, quick, um, EPP project and it's from Brimfield Awakening it's their Brimfield block um, you can leave out I top stitched it down on this um, thistle thicket and like turquoise print however you can insert those orange peels with another print I wanted a quick make so I did this great for fussy cutting I, mean, I absolutely love creating that secondary pattern when you fussy cut prints the same way all the birds going around here um, so that's the Brimfield Awakening Brimfield block. Um, you can make that to a quilt as well, having numerous blocks of these. Now, I am also um, wearing and have another shirt here. I was really fortunate. My friend Arlene um, made me these Fairfield button up shirts in my very own fabric for Quilt Market in Houston. And she actually um, embroidered NBQ for Natural Born Quilter, which was super cool. And yeah. I often see people using quilting cottons for garments now. So I had two kind of dress shirts made for me, dress shirts of my style, and um, just showcasing that, you know, you can use quilting cotton not only for quilts or bags, but you can also use them for garments. So that is the Fairfield button up and that pattern I believe you can find online. Um, the last things I have to showcase here are some So Kind of Wonderful projects. So I absolutely love this So Kind of Wonderful rulers. If you have not used them, you should try them. It's such an amazing, easy way to do curves. They have the Quick Curve ruler, the Quick Curve Mini, and then they have the new Wonder Curve. So this first project is just kind of a sampler called, um, it's their sampler one called Hello Curves, I believe. And it's using a various various blocks of theirs um, that are used in numerous quilts they make using the Quick Curve Ruler Mini and just the Quick Curve Ruler. Interesting thing, I am a So Kind of Wonderful certified teacher. Um, I believe Lori's carries all of their products as well. So that's um, a fun quick make. This is a class I've taught before. It's a great um, day class because it teaches you how to do all um, the blocks that you need to do some of their other bigger projects. And the cool thing is with their quick curve method is you don't use any pins. I know that sounds crazy, but you can do these curves lickety split and they come together really fast and look really effective. So that's just a pillow that I've done. And their new Wonder Curve ruler, which debuted recently, um, had a free pattern attached to the back of it. And actually my son Damien chose the fabrics he wanted for this little table runner slash wall hanging. And it's using their Wonder Curve, and I believe it was called Wonder Flutters because it's butterflies flying, right? Um, and I like how that turned out. It came together really quick as well. So those are just a few projects, you guys, that I wanted to share um, made with Stag and Thistle. Now, make sure you check Lori's Country Cottage out because they're stocking the Stag and Thistle and it will be listed shortly. And um, get it before it sells out because I hear everything's selling well. And I really hope to be able to see everyone in person soon when we plan an event at Lori's. So until then, happy quilting. So did that motivate you to sew? We have stag and thistle available in yardage, fat quarter bundles and individual fat quarters as well as kits and patterns for the three quilts and the projects presented. Supply for this fabric is very limited and selling out quickly worldwide. Click on the link at the end of the video to visit our website and see the available products. Don't forget that Lori's Country Cottage also offers custom machine quilting. For now, you get a virtual consul consultation and then we take pleasure in assisting you in the choices necessary from hundreds of quilting designs and thread choices. Your quilt top will be completed in record time with our turnaround being approximately two weeks. So a special thanks to Brett for making this event 
that we had to post postpone work virtually. Thanks, Brett, and thank you for watching.